team. It is uh, now June 25th, I believe. Yeah, June 25th. So we are doing an overnighter, baby. I'm so excited. It's around 1 p.m. Just uh, got the guys on board finally. We're all packed for bear, loaded for bear. We just gotta go get fuel and ice and we're out of here. Uh, we just got word that the fish have slid north. I thought they were gonna do that. So we're actually headed to probably between the Carteret and the Toms Canyon, which is anywhere from 75 to 90 miles from us. So I will see you guys out there. I'll introduce you to the crew in a minute. Big goofy guy behind me, that's Dylan. Check out his channel. So Dylan L Fishing, it's awesome. And uh, I'll see you guys out there. Yeah, leave behind your worries, all your troubles in the real world. Rounding out the crew, of course, we got Captain Zach. Say hi to the world, Zach. Hello. Yeah, we got E. We got Cousin Mikey. Both, both military veterans, by the way. Air Force and United States Marines, baby. And then, of course, Big Dylan down below. So that's the crew. The beautiful ocean. So we're in for a 30 some odd hour adventure. Nothing better, baby. Woo. Anywhere. The dude can sleep anywhere. It's amazing. He lays his head down, he's out. A quick update, we got about 38 to go. Water's beautiful, knock on wood, it's nice out. Just get the spread ready, rig up a bunch of value. been busy. Letting Zach run the boat and I'm down here in the pit enjoying the hell out of it. So should be there fishing in about an hour and a half. We'll look around see what's going on. All right so this is very shortly after arriving in the Carteret Canyon. You know the signs look good. As you can see here beautiful flat calm. A good little temperature break. Uh, some of our buddy boats had picked fish throughout the day. And you, um, you know, right away, bam, there you go, we got bit. So um, yeah, we thought it was game on, but this was just a small blue fin, and uh, it was pretty that slow for the rest of the night. Yeah, I think we got some shark bait, right? Yeah, we got some shark bait. Oh no, that's a baby. Little baby elephant. Oh my god, look how Oh no, little baby bluefin. Yeah. All right, where's that long at? Woo, right here. All right, guys, quick update. So it's 7:35. Uh, I got word from a buddy boat that they did real well one canyon north. So we literally just got here, and uh, we're doubled up. So it's so we should have another hour, hour 20 minutes to, to troll before dark. There's eight million hammerheads, so we should have tons of shark action tonight. Hopefully, we can weed through them, get a mako. But finally, I've established a pattern. So 1,300 foot, and now we got doubled up, so now I'll just keep pounding this area. So that's what I needed. I just needed something to tell me where to keep pounding. So let's see what we got. There we go. Oh, Got another one? Yep, doubled up. Did he pop off? No, he's ice shot him. I thought he was real big. Oh my God. Yeah, they're coming right in for the What is it? You need micro. Alright, team, yeah, so uh, just two small bluefin there. Um, it is almost 8 o'clock. Um, the slow 2020 continues. Man, oh man, what a weird season. Uh, I don't know, I'm out here in the deep. Uh, I'm going to start pushing a little shallower. And we'll keep working, but yeah, no, no keeper tuna yet, no yellowfin. It's just been strange. I just wanted to show this clip real quick. You can really see the Sterling Tackle splash bars and chaos bars in action with the flat ocean. Just creates so much surface commotion. Um, if you don't have a bunch of these in your spread, I highly recommend it. Uh, we have a mix of Sterling Tackle wide trackers, Sterling Tackle chaos chains, and then we also have. Uh, just sterling tackle regular splash bars as well um, but i run basically all their gear uh, when it comes to all my spreader bars right there i 
That's a whole pot of hammerheads. Check them out. It's so cool. It's not. Look at them. Hammerheads just chilling. There's probably two, four, five, five big ones. Yeah, I can see their heads too. That's so neat. Look at them. Wow. This was really neat, team. I had never seen so many sharks just sunning themselves. The whole fleet was saying it. They'd never seen anything like it. We saw thousands of hammerheads. One of the neatest things I've ever seen. Check them out. So neat. Not every day you see that. I bet you there's way more right underneath them, too. Look how cool. See them cruising right there. Look at them. Unreal. All right, team, so it's uh, quarter to five. We're back on the troll. The night was actually really slow. We saw a thousand sharks and literally only hooked one. Um, no complaints, though. I really didn't want to be weeding through hammerheads all night. Dylan teased up a Mako, little guy, five footer. So, uh, yeah, getting back on the troll. Hopefully, hopefully, the tuna fish start biting today. So, hopefully, I'll check back with you down in the cafe. Oh, so popped up. I think we got more than a couple on. There's one on the starboard. And we got, we got two Just on like that, I believe it was 5:15 a.m. You can see, of course, we're enveloped in fog. That's kind of the theme of 2020. But I heard one of the riggers go off. It sounded like a shotgun. And then just like that, I turn around. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on on a camera, but I saw the other two big eyes come up. So we had three on, and we broke off two right away. So we were left with one. Um, so you'll see what happens here. Guys, flat. Oh, Jack, where are you at? Grab my GoPro real quick. Put your right to the couch on the left. Where's my GoPro up there? Yeah, just use mine, Dylan. Put it on your. Oh no! Here, put it on your head. He's off. I'm ready. Lost him. Got another one. We got another one. Man, he's done. All right, so the, the first one, you know, actually we broke off right away, and right there he informs me that he lost his. You can see it just kind of pop off real quick. I think the two actually ran into each other, but um, I don't know if you can hear. I'm, I'm not yelling. I'm not freaking out. There's nothing I can do about it. We still have one fish that we have to concentrate on and do the right thing. So then it's all about, you know, boat positioning, getting the other lines out of the way, and just doing your best to stay calm. You know, it was rough because... Finally, we got our ticket pulled, so it was really hard staying calm, but it's what you got to do in these scenarios. If you just freak out and go like a madman, you're not really doing anything productive. All right, guys, so fast forward just a little bit, so all the rest of the lines are cleared. Big Dylan just had actually woken up. He came out to a, to a mayhem scenario, but he got settled in, um, and, and he did such a great good job, guys. He's 17. He's a big kid, or a big young man, I should say. And uh, yeah, we got him settled in, and, and he just did an awesome job. He fought this fish for a little over an hour. Um, cousin Mikey tagged in for really just a brief period of time. Um, Dylan really mostly, um, you know, beat this fish up just himself. We were way down into the backing here, um, and I, I think my heart rate was about, you know, 200. And uh, Zach was kind of freaking out a little bit too. Um, I've fished a lot of years in the canyons, and um, never had a big eye. I've never really targeted them specifically. Um, but I knew this was our fish, and uh, yeah, it was kind of a, a hair-raising scenario, but we stayed calm, and uh, we did the things that we know to do to, um, you know, be successful. So uh, we'll see what happens. Seventeen-year-old lacrosse machine right there. What that is? He's a machine, baby. Damn, I thought he was coming up right there for sure. I thought right there he was going to come up. So the other thing that made this pretty tricky, I don't know if you can see the fog there, but I mean, I, again, I had less than a quarter mile of visibility, and we were actually in a pretty uh, large little fleet, so uh, I'm dodging boats on radar. Uh, you know, every now and then I'd see one pop off, you know, and, and we were stretched out pretty good, so... You know, we had risk of guys, you know, cutting us off, and man, it was just a lot of, a lot of odds stacked against us here. All right, guys. So uh, we hooked up around quarter after five. Uh, we broke two off. Dylan still got the third. 
pretty confident it's our big eye, so we're just all trying to stay calm and uh, do what we know. And uh, I got the harpoon all ready to roll, so hopefully I get to uh, lay a dart in this thing. To show you. So nervous. It's crazy. So nervous. How stupid I look with that silly thing on my head. Work forward a little bit. Just a hair. Okay, okay. All right. sure if you can actually see there but Zach is actually spooning that fish it's something I've done with big Makos big threshers and uh, something special about it Woo! first big eye baby so I have spent countless hours here in the canyons I hooked one and fought one when I was 16 we lost it big Mikey and I fought one on 60 pound fluorocarbon in the Lindy a couple of years ago Broke the rod right at the boat, and I haven't hooked one since then. And bam, we finally got him. One for three, baby. Yes. All right, baby. Sterling tackle, crazy eight, purple with a zucchini stinger. Where's it at? <laughs> with the zucchini sticker. Sticker, we did it, baby. Sticker? Sticker. That is a butterfly. All right, baby. I'm sorry. Yeah. Come here, baby. Right? Woo -hoo -hoo! You said soft. Mwah, I'm sorry, baby. I'm Chris, sorry. Chris, look up. Oh, God. <laughs> Mwah, I've been waiting for you for years. He's got, oh, a woody. He's got a woody right now to know what to do with it. I've been waiting for I'm sorry we killed you, baby. We'll, we'll use it. Mwah. Wish I had one more of your friends. Oh, yes. Yeah. What would we have done with three of them all, man? Awesome. Really? Oh, oh, my God. All right, let's, uh, let's bleed them and get some pictures, all right? I like them. Jimmy. I didn't miss the between the eyes. Get one of his brains. <laughs> Zach the fish whisperer. It's pretty warm. Shh. Yeah, we gotta get, get some pictures. We I mean, let them out pretty darn good and then uh, yeah. get some pictures, yeah, we'll get them on ice. I'm real glad. Look at that shot. Yeah, deep, 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 deep. Look at that, man. He's finally done there and he hit one. Yeah! yeah. I, saw him, I was like, oh my god. What do you think he is? 150? No. That one? We'll go weigh him. I think he's 175. 175. I mean, my big bluefin was 163. There you go, Zach. Oh, dude, that thing's gonna go one. Man. Team, I'm so pumped that I could share that with you. I hope you see the excitement. Um, I've been doing this a long time. Uh, a lot of guys have caught hundreds of big eyes. Um, I just have never been that fortunate until now. So excited. Um, just awesome. That was just 
Zach and I have done so much prep work, so much reading, so much intel and networking and, you know, rigging and, yeah, finally paid off. So, uh, really glad I could share it with you. So, we're going to get some yelping in the boat now and uh, we'll go from there. Right, so, it's uh, 8 a.m., so not far from where we killed that big guy. Um, we're doubled right now. I found a, just about a one degree temperature break um, and we're working that. And, uh, yeah, we got two fish on right now, so let's see what we got. Might the guys might have to swap again. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I might need you to switch up, Mikey. Mikey, you might have to go under E again. We'll see when we get closer. Old. Zach has the same silly giggle every single time he camps a fish. It's hilarious. He wasn't going no way. That hooks all the way through. There it is, baby. I've been so cranky, guys. Zach said he's not going to fish with me anymore. I've been too cranky. So used to doing well. I don't mean to sound cocky, but it's just been so slow. I've been in a bad mood lately. Zach said he wasn't going to fish with me anymore. So now we got our mojo back, baby. All right, guys. So uh, 940, we're hooked up again. Uh, it's just a single. So let's see what we got. Keep it tight, though. 
So quick update guys, it's 12.30, we are now inshore. Um, I got good word from a buddy of mine, he was coming on out for an overnighter, and uh, he had some real good bluefin life inshore. So we are now in just about 35 fathoms, and uh, man, we didn't get four rods out, we got bit. So we got one on now, let's see what we got. It's a really neat, watch Eric start putting out the Crazy 8 uh, Sterling Tackle Daisy Chain, literally a bluefin rips it right out of his hand, pretty neat. Alright guys, quick update. So it's 12.44, so we just put that bluefin in the boat in short order and uh, yeah, we can't even get the spread out right now, so um, we're on again. Really cool, we got whales around the boat, slicks. I'm not really marking fish, which is weird. I'd like to see something I could jig on. Um, oh, there they are, down about 30 foot. So uh, let's put this fish in the boat, see if we can jig something here. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Oh, here we go, guys. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's a good amount of them now. All right, maybe we'll just blind pop. Cut off the popper? You want to toss on a jig or what? I would put a jig on. They're down. How big are you? How big are you? Nice little head. Yeah. Hey, baby, come here. Right, come here. Yeah, down there, Jim. I got it. Hey, baby. <laughs> there you go. That's a better one. That's a little better one, guys. So yeah, thanks again, Polly Walnuts, for calling us in on this bite. This spot was loaded with two tones. As you can see here, there were whales. We marked a ton of fish. We marked a ton of bait. We easily put our, our limit of under bluefin in the boat in about five minutes. Um, and then we actually pulled in the troll lines and switched over to the jig and pop. Uh, Eric caught a keeper yellow fin. Cool. Uh, he jigged up another blue fin. Um, I believe uh, Dylan missed one on the bow. Uh, and then after putting a, you know, that last yellow fin in the boat, we decided to call it a day and fly on home. So what a great way to end the trip. Yeah, he's on a jig. I have one, I don't know. How deep down were you, eh? I went from a halfway up. Yeah, he hooked one. Look at the elephant. 
these little baby ling and this ling has a sand eel inside his mouth so that's like double trouble I mean bait on bait wow that is so cool of course I took it out were you waiting for that picture? yeah I'm sorry so the little baby ling and sand eel wow wow team what a great end to the trip uh well too tired Wow, team, what a great end of the trip. Capped it off with two keeper bluefin, a keeper yellowfin, jigged up a couple more. Just awesome. So I've been up for 30 plus hours. I'm tired. So we got Predator on. Unfortunately, the air conditioner is broke, so it's a little warm in here, but I got no complaints. So I'll see you guys back at the weigh-in station. Pumped. All right, so we're all going to guess the weight. I say 175. Zachy? Got 148. I'm going to 185. 185? Uh, Dylan? 159. 160? 160? Uh, I got it there. Oh, alright. Yeah, I'm going to keep one in. I got to keep the left right side of the left. Yeah. Say, make sure he's off. Make sure we weigh that blood. One sixty five, okay. Yeah, close. You were close. Where'd you have it? I had one forty eight. One sixty. After that damn sword fish, I figured uh, Yeah, I thought Hey, you called it. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. 165. Nice beautiful. Yeah, beautiful butterball. Right? Yeah, man. First one I've ever killed, dude. Thanks. Little suckers. Yeah, we. Look at, look at that butterball. Hey, Hazy. Hey, Hazy. Hazel. Hazel, come here, girl. Hi, hi, hi. You like tuna, huh? You like tuna fish? I can't tuna piano, but I can tuna fish. That's a butterball, big eye. Yeah. This tail built, built for speed and built for power. Wow, team, we're just. Team, we're just getting into our first big eye fillet here. And look at the layer of fat. I don't know if you can see that or not. Look at the layer of fat. Wow. Look at that loin, guys. That loin weighs more than most people's stripers. Zach's gonna loin him and then I'm gonna start processing each loin. Check it out, team. Look at the size of that. I mean, and look at the fat. Wow, what do you got? Some ribs for you. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers, bud. Oh. Oh, my God, it's delicious. Make a bag. Yeah, we really should. Yeah. Make a special bag of that. It's like butter, bud. Guys, look, you can see the, you can really see the marbleized fat in there. Wow. That's amazing. Totally different than the elephant for sure. <laughs> 